In this video, I'm going to show you how to get this Xerox style grunge effect right inside of After Effects. First thing you want to do is create an adjustment layer and add a grain effect to it. Make sure you change the viewing mode to final output and we're going to bump up the intensity to 7, the size to 0.4, the softness to 1.5 and the aspect ratio to 1.8. Next, you want to add a threshold effect to that same adjustment layer and set it to around 15,000. As you can see, this is already looking pretty cool, but it's looking a little too sharp. So we're going to add a fast box blur and set it to around 0.3. That made everything look much smoother, but next we're going to add a tritone effect. We can now play around with the midtones and push color to them using this little color picker tool. I'm going to keep it monochrome for this example, but just know you can do so. I also like to lift the shadows towards something more gray to really sell the effect. The final touch is adding a posterized time set to 15 FPS to really mash everything together. To customize it even further, you can play around with the size values and it's going to completely change the way the effect is being applied. I also like to mess around with the aspect ratio to stretch out this grain look. But as you can see, even though this effect is really simple, it has a nice touch of texture. I absolutely love using this simple technique whenever I'm working on mixed media animations. But that'll be it for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you want to level up your edits, make sure to check the first link in the description down below. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.